All right, so how's everyone doing? Now tonight, uh, what I'm gonna do is a really quick one. It is Devil's Haircut by Beck. It's from mid 90s, I think. So um, the reason I picked it, it's a pretty handy one in terms of just note content. There's not too many notes. And the thing is, it's a good exercise in learning how to drop your E string to a D string also. So uh, I'm gonna begin by doing that. So you're gonna hear on the recording that it sounds really low. And of course it's played in electric, but I'm on acoustic tonight. So I'm gonna drop the E string to a D. You could do two ways. You could get your guitar tuner and keep dropping the E until eventually the tuner will lead you to the D and then just make sure it hits the middle to be in tune. Now the second method you can use is, which is the one which I used to use years ago before we had tuners in our pockets the whole times on phone apps and things like that. I'd hit the E string along with the D string over and over, like, and then I'd keep dropping it until they finally resonate. So it would sound something like as follows. Let's see if it still works this way. Okay, so I got both of them all together. You can test by octaves then like that. Now, to begin, you're going to begin by hitting the E string. Now, of course, it's named a D now since we've dropped a D. It's going to go. Okay, so you're going to hit two of the first note, and then you're going to fret the fifth fret of that E string, and finally the third fret of the A string below. So it goes. Okay, now the rhythm will go one and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. And that is the main riff of that. Now, you may be listening to this if you've never heard the song going, that's an actual song. It totally is. It's a very popular song. Check out YouTube if you don't believe me. And uh, of course, it is played on distorted guitar, so it sounds way thicker, way heavier, way boomier. And there are a load of different ways to play this and this is just the way I've chosen. So in case you're watching and you know other ways, um, to name another way you could use, I won't go through it in the video, you could detune all the guitar strings down low and just hit your open strings. Okay, so there are many ways to do it. And um, that is about it for this week. Next week, I am teaching Maniac 2000. There's gonna be a bit more in that lesson, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.